Hello guys, so unfortunately Rascal had a second epileptic seizure late yesterday evening at 12 or something. The thing is, I was expecting it to come, but this feels very soon. This means he's probably gonna have to need medication right away. We're going to the vet now. I'm gonna swap the car with my dad right now, and then we're going to the vet in a couple of hours, as soon as they had the first appointment. So it's early in the morning now, it's uh, half past six. This really sucks, but um, this time when it happened, we were both calm and collected, so yeah. So we have swapped the car with dad and uh, left him at work. Now I'm gonna go in and buy some breakfast at uh, this bakery right here called Ubes. As I said, of course it's sad when it happens when such little time has passed. But at the same time we were ready for it this time and I knew what was gonna happen. And so we could be calm around it when it happened this time. And it felt like everything was under control, kind of. Even though it's, it is scary. But you have to be composed for his sake. That's where we're at right now. Today I'm probably gonna go to a rehearsal room, just jam a little bit with uh, some friends, just for fun. I bought a piece of meat yesterday that I want to make bad meat out of, so that's I'm probably gonna do that too. It's raining outside, when I have to go in there. Here goes nothing! Shall we go out for a walk, puppy? Let's go out for a walk, yeah. Mornings like these are not fun to be out in Sweden. It's cold, it's raining, it's wet, it's dark. Rascal just looked at me with the saddest eyes in the world when we were outside. He turned around and ran towards home again. We had gotten like 20 meters. He only got to pee. But that's okay. We can go out later. Maybe when it's better weather. Now we'll go in and feed him his breakfast instead. Who's the best puppy? Are you the best puppy? Yes you are. Yes you are. <laughs> Hello cat, good morning. Good morning. We've eaten our breakfast now and there's something in that mystery bag over there. Okay, do you know what it is? No, what could it be? It's a dessert. Call it what you want, god damn. Now I can film your new hairdo, cat. Because this is not coming up before your video. So if you haven't seen the video of cat cutting her hair and getting a new hair did, then you should go watch that. I don't think you can see it outside, but it's pouring down. Defending the ball. Wow. Ah. Ah. Ah, ah, another defensive stance. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, now it's vet time. Do we hear these whines? <laughs> He's buckled in. Don't worry. Maybe that's why he's whining. Oh puppy, you little lappy. So we're on our way home from the vet right now. And Rascal has gotten a starter prescription for epilepsy medicine. Not much more to say about it. We're gonna start with this dose and uh, see if the seizure become less frequent, a lot less frequent. Uh, AKA disappear. Yeah. Because if they don't disappear, we yeah. up the dose. We up the dosage. That's what's gonna happen now. He needs to take one and a half pill twice a day forever. Forever and ever. If we don't have to increase the dosage because then it's gonna be more. Forever and ever. So that's really sucky, but that's what has to be done. They also said that if this medicine doesn't work, this dose, they will most likely also look into alternative sources of the seizures. But for now, they thought that the best course of action was light dose of medicine to start out. We're gonna buy a Rascal a marrow bone, we're gonna pick his medicine up. What are you gonna do, Rascal? Just stare out into the abyss. And why? That's a yes. Perfect. So now we're home after picking up the medicine, getting some food, getting some packages, and getting a marrow bone for Rascal. What did you choose to eat, Kat? Sausages and uh, mashed potatoes. And I took a super cheese and bacon burger or something, something. And Rascal, since we are having this fast food, maybe you would like the marrow bone. You want that marrow bone? Oh yeah, you do want that marrow yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm just getting back from the rehearsal thing. I couldn't film there really because the sound was so loud that it would just have been like you wouldn't been able to hear anything either way. So maybe some other time with better sound. I'm home. Oh, hello. Hello, Rascal. Oh, what a nice book. I don't want it though. I don't want it. It's okay. It's yours. Go so cat. What did you score? You bought candy. What drink did you buy? Pear soda. And I bought vanilla Coke because that's the best drink in the world. What candy did you buy, cat? Toffee fee. Is that a problem with it? Toffee fee? Isn't that for old people? Oh, what about this? Karen Fetzer dark chocolate. Isn't that? Old That's for mature people, cat. So now there's a difference between old and mature. Dark chocolate is clearly for mature people, but toffee fee is for people over 80. So now I'm gonna start cutting up, I'll call it kebab meat, but it's gonna be more like gyros. There's a spice mix that I'm gonna make and then I'm gonna marinate the pork meat in that. I'm gonna put some of it away and save it and I'm gonna fry some of it up right now and eat together with some fries. So since this is not a cooking video and a vlog, I can't go through all this, what I do, because it's gonna be too long, I feel. In the future, I wanna do a whole video about doing your own kebab meat and with uh, pita bread and stuff like that. This is the spice mix that I've done. I can read up to you what's in it, and not how much of it, I'll go through that another time. Thyme in it, and there's some cumin, and there's some garlic powder, there's some chili powder, some cinnamon, paprika powder, and that's it. So here is the finished thing. This is my jar of meat and some fries and some garlic dressing for that that I did yesterday. Also just want to add that I'm going to end the vlog here and we're going to watch on TV and then Russell's going to get his medicine for the first time. What I do hope is that you had a sunny fucking day.